This is problem number 28 from the June 2014 Algebra Regents exam. In this question, we're given a parabola, f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 3, and we know the vertex is the point 2, negative 1. And what we're asked to do is find the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola defined by g of x equals f of x minus 2. So there's actually two different ways of solving this problem. One is a very fast way, and one is a much longer way. So I'll show you both. We'll start off by the FAST method. Now the FAST method comes from the knowledge of the difference between the function f of x equals x squared versus the function f of x equals um, x minus h squared plus k. Now you may be familiar with other variables other than h and k, but the premise is the same. Basically what happens is um, this h, by the way, this is the vertex form of an, an equation. Um, the h value tells us how much the function has moved um, uh, horizontally, and the k value tells us how much it has translated vertically. So because we're finding f of x minus 2, that's our h value here, because it's in the brackets, um, we can tell that every single point in this original parabola is going to shift two units to the right. And that's because based on this equation, it, um, h is actually positive. So here it's, we're subtracting a positive number, positive two. So that's moving two to the right. And that means the coordinate of the vertex, two negative one, if it moves two to the right, then the new point would be four negative one because the x value is increasing by two. All right, that's the fast way. Now the longer way of figuring this out is actually taking the original f of x and replacing all the x's with x minus two. So f of x would be equal to x minus two squared minus four times x minus two plus three. Now I'm gonna skip some steps just to save time, but if you were to expand and then combine this function and combine all the like terms, Oh, by the way, I guess this is g of x, not f of x. So yeah, if you combine all the like terms, you would end up getting x squared minus 8x plus 15. And once we have it in this form, we can find the x value of the vertex by using the equation x equals negative b over 2a. So if we do that, we would do negative of negative 8 over 2 times 1 and that ends up getting us an x value of 4. See how this is similar to this? And then from there we can get our y value by taking g of x here and replacing x with 4. So we would do 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 15. So this is to find our y value. And by doing that you would get negative 1. So the point is 4, negative 1. So same answer both ways. Obviously this method is much more time consuming. So if you understand this, um, that initial description I gave, great time saver. Um, yeah, hope that was helpful and thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.